Hey everybody, Alex from Historical Light. Uh, interesting night tonight, just me. Haven't heard from Robert and Zoom is not working. I think way too many people are trying to use Zoom during this time and it's screwing us up. So, had to do it live from my cell phone. But, how's everybody doing today? I'm not sure if I can see comments. It looks like I can. So today, at least here in Kansas, was a beautiful day. Uh, crazy windy though. And it uh, looks like it's actually blowing in a storm because we had some huge clouds coming in. But, you know, for being a quarantine day, it was wonderful to be able to get out in the yard. We gave the dogs a bath, opened all the windows in the house. So that was, that was really nice. Uh, if you guys are watching live, let me know how your day was. So, until we get some comments coming through, uh, everyone knows uh, we're doing these toasts and historical chats nightly. Uh, during this time that we're in this uh, quarantine. So, historical light, obviously. We stick with the Masonic history. And uh, tonight, I'm going to share a couple pieces, actually. It's my uh, porcelain collection within uh, Masonic figurines. And, well, first of all, I'm going to start with this one because it doesn't have a match. What's up, Scott? Got my wife on here. Got Justin on here. George on here, everybody. How y'all doing? So, this one's pretty cool. Um, this one I got from my parents for Christmas, oh, probably three years ago. <laughs> and they ordered it off uh, probably eBay is my assumption. And I don't know if you guys have ordered stuff off of eBay and it arrives and it's like not quite what you expected. So they paid a good amount of money for this. And uh, in, the, in the pictures, it looked really good size. So they, they thought they were getting a good deal for their money. And uh, it arrived. So on Christmas, I'm opening it. It's this fair size box, and the wrapping just keeps getting smaller and smaller and smaller. Um, the end topic, it, it was a really cool gift, but they felt really bad because it was so small. But what it is, is a porcelain figurine with Paul Revere at his desk, actually uh, crafting. Uh, with his tools and everything there, which I think is fantastic. Now this was put out by the Grand Lodge, Massachusetts. Uh, looks like December 28th, 1987 when it's marked. There's only 500 of these made and I got number 357, which you can't get more Masonic than that, like come on. But they felt bad that it was so small. I still think it's an awesome, uh, really awesome trinket to have in my collection. So, hey, Brother Marvin, looks like you're driving to New Jersey. So just a short jaunt for you, right? Well, I'm glad you could join in uh, with us during your, your travels there. So I've got two other uh, porcelain deals to share that's in my collection. Uh, the first of which kind of started this collection, and it was by total accident. So uh, to give you some backstory, uh, this particular brother this belonged to, I had no idea it belonged to him. When I joined Gardner Lodge and I started getting really into the, the history and everything, um, this name kept coming up, but sadly to me, it was kind of in one ear, out the other. Uh, and I was told, hey, you need to go talk to this guy. You need to get a hold of him. He's getting up there in years. I was like, okay, yeah, yeah. And I didn't act on it. So first of all, lesson from me to you um, in those situations, don't do what I did. Actually act on it because I missed out hugely. But anyways, um, sadly, the brother ended up passing away. And uh, as soon as I, I saw that name would come across that, you know, he passed away, it hit me. I'm like, oh man, that was the guy I was supposed to talk to. Well, not too long after that, we're driving around. Um, me and my family like to go antiquing. So we'll look for, you know, garage sales, for estate sales, uh, hit up all the antique stores. Um, well, on this particular day, we're driving around Gardner. We happen to see uh, an estate sale. So we're like, hey, let's pull in. So we pull in, we're walking through and everything. And I notice in the garage, uh, there was a few Masonic items. I'm like, hey, sweet. So they had a, I want to say it was like an Eastern Star license plate, a um, couple old uh, maybe glasses or something like that. Nothing that really stood out um, to me too much. And sad to say, I totally walked by this one. Uh, hey, Brother Daniel, I haven't seen you in a long time. Brother Scott, good to see you. Most worshipful Dale Morrow, thank you so much for tuning in. Chris, good evening, Brother Stephen, good evening. Uh, but anyways, uh, sad to say, I totally walked by this when I missed it. Uh, it's a huge gem. My wife runs over and grabs me, and she's like, hey, you might want to get this. I go back, and what she found was this deal right here. 
Now, if you guys watch Masonic Light, you might actually have heard this story. I was just on there and, uh, and I shared this story with them. But this was sitting on the uh, on the table there uh, at the estate sale. And they, I'll be honest, they had, they had a pretty penny on it. So they had a estate sale service kind of running this, and they had it marked up pretty good. I'm like, man, I really like it, but I don't know if I want it for that price. Well, my wife, being awesome as she is, goes and starts up this conversation with the guy kind of running the estate sale. Starts to tell him about, you know, I'm a Mason, yada, yada, yada. Um, turns out this guy's father was a Mason. And um, so he he's like, well, you know, I want to go to the right place. They started haggling. They got it down to a price that I couldn't refuse. I was like, well, heck, yeah, yeah, I'll take it for that price. So we go check out and stuff. And then there's another guy at the checkout. And he's kind of helping me wrap it up, everything. Pardon me. And he asked, he goes, so uh, you're a Freemason? I'm like, yeah. And I told him I just joined or not joined, but transferred over to the Gardner Lodge. He goes, oh yeah, my, my father was a, a Gardner Freemason. He goes, my father's the one that owned this house. I'm just helping out. I'm like, really? Who is your father? And uh, it was actually the guy that passed away from my lodge. That so was a huge history buff um, prior to me. Um, and I kind of freaked out. I was like, no way. So this actually belonged uh to him which was huge um you know I've, I've said this multiple times in multiple different uh scenarios but you know sometimes i think things happen for a reason uh and I, I, this is one of those things you know i i can't turn away from saying that it didn't happen for a reason i felt so guilty um at the point that i figured out he had passed away and i'd never uh, acted on having that conversation with them, unfortunately. And uh, then to have that unspoken connection, um, something that meant so much to him uh, from his collection to enter into mine, uh, meant the world to me. So this has been something that I've really held on to and cherish. Well, got it. And I started, you know, researching it and stuff. And I found out um, that they were, they were made in pairs. So they made them with the George Washington and then a matching one of Benjamin Franklin. So I'm like, oh, well, I gotta get the matching set, right? So I'm all over eBay, searching everywhere, and I find it. Run to my wife, a little more than I wanted to pay, but hey, I gotta have this matching set. Yeah, Brother Daniel, 65, we need to see you back in Lodge, man. Well, as soon as everything gets opened up, of course. Uh, but anyways, once, uh, once I found the Benjamin Franklin one online, wife said, hey, hey, get it, go ahead. So I ordered it, super stoked for it to arrive. Comes in a box, a little larger than I assumed the box would be. And I open it up and I'm like, what the heck is this? This thing arrives. So I'm gonna try to put it down here. Where are we at, there we are. You see the size difference and I'm like, totally blown away like <laughs> this is supposed to be a set so then i end up finding out that there's actually two sets there's the smaller set that i don't know if i had an official term to it but it's kind of more the collector's edition right and then these were the bookends so now i'm stuck with one of the opposite of each collection and i can't find the other to this day so I don't know. Uh, if you if you guys happen to come across that, you got to let me know. Uh, Robert, I see you uh, trying to get in. Zoom is not working for Facebook Live. So there's not a way I can let you in at this point. So sorry. Um, but anyways, so now I'm stuck with one of each of these. And I can't find the other. So if you guys happen to see that, let me know because it is on my list and I need them. <laughs> With that, it looks like we are at 8.59. So tonight I'm toasting with a strawberry, uh, I don't know what kind it is. Actually, I forgot to read the label, but it is a wine. And this is actually, since this whole deal um, was put out and promoted by Grand Lodge of England, um, we had these back in the 300th anniversary uh, Grand Lodge of Kansas release, and we got our Grand Lodge of Kansas seal on one side and the UGLE logo on the other side for the 300. So should be coming up on nine here at any time. Let me see how many seconds away we are. 54, 55, 
56, 57. Feels like New Year's counting down. All right, brothers. To all those that we can't be with right now through this quarantine, stay safe, stay connected. Brotherly love and peace prevail. Cheers to you and yours. All right, y'all. We will be back tomorrow. We will get Robert in here. Don't know what happened tonight. Uh, having some technical difficulties on the side of Zoom and Facebook, not wanting to cooperate. But we appreciate all of you. We appreciate your support of Historical Light. And uh, we are with you all during this time. So stay safe, stay positive. We'll get through it. Till tomorrow, we'll see you then. Night, everybody.